Hello everyone, I am finally back with another nail video. Today I am doing my own nails. It took me so long to decide what I wanted to do on my nails. I knew that I wanted to do a black design, but I couldn't think of anything to do. So I went onto Pinterest and I searched for black and white patterns. I found this here, which I believe is some brush strokes but I thought it looked pretty cool, so I went with that, and that is what I did on my nail. I also wanted to take a second to thank everyone over on Instagram that helped me decide what nail shape suits my nails best. Everybody, well, almost everybody, decided that the almond looked better on my nails, so that is what I went with. And at the beginning of this video, I do have on my nails one or two coats of the Madame Glam Builder Gel in light pink. Anyway, that's enough of my face, let's get into the video. I'm starting out doing my two middle fingers just because I'm going to use a very fine glitter on the other fingers and I didn't want to have to worry about keeping these nails glitter free. So I'm using Perfect White on my middle finger from Madame Glam. This is probably the nicest gel polish white that I've used but it's still not a one coat white. The Perfect Black, which I'm about to use in a second, is it is a really, really good black. If you were careful with the application, you could definitely get away with one coat, but I did do two thin coats. So once I applied one coat of each of those, I did cure that in my light for 30 seconds, and then I'm going in with another coat of both of them as well. The white doesn't need to be completely full coverage because the art that I'm doing on top will cover up any imperfections. I'm now taking this fine detail brush. I believe I got this one from Wish, possibly AliExpress. I did do a review on it, so I'll link that in the cards. But I'm doing these small brush strokes in like a brickwork pattern. I'd say if you wanted this design to look more like the original inspiration picture, you'd probably want to have less polish on your brush and do like a dry brush technique. But this design is really great for beginners because they don't need to be perfect lines. In fact, the more imperfect they are, the more it looks purposeful. If your lines are too perfect, any mistakes look unintentional. So if you make them all as imperfect as possible, then it's imperfectly imperfect. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So then I did go ahead and top coat both of those nails with my no wipe top coat. And now I'm going to do the other two nails, so I'm just painting on one coat of the Madame Glam Perfect Black. Now when I was doing my other hand before filming, I did find that the Madame Glam Perfect Black doesn't have the tackiest of tacky layers, so I did decide after curing this to go in with a tacky top coat, because I know that has a really nice tacky layer to stick glitter to. If you didn't want to do that, you could just half cure the black, so instead of 30 second cure, do a 15 second cure. Whilst we're waiting for my past self to paint my nails, I wanted to take a moment to shout out an account on Instagram. I thought I might start doing little shout outs during videos of people that I have been enjoying content from. So this week I wanted to shout out Beauty Base Coat. They are a nail account over on Instagram, but I have really been enjoying their posts recently. They've got a lot of really subtle nail art, like really detailed nail art, but subtle just found myself liking all of their posts that come up in my newsfeed. So if you don't already, go over and check them out and give them a follow. They do have 25,000 followers, so you, chances are you already follow them if you're following me. If you've got any recommendations for people I should follow or check out, leave them in the comments below. Or even if you yourself have a nail Instagram or a nail YouTube, leave that in the comments and I will check that out and maybe I can shout you out next time. I'm using a Wildflowers Academy glitter in black. It's like a holographic black. I'm just changing the light here around to see if you can see the holographic sparkle. It is a really, really fine glitter, like super fine. If you can see the particles on my skin there, they're like 
they're just very fine glitters. It's not a powder, it is still a glitter, but it's just a very, very fine glitter. So I'm dabbing that onto my index finger and pinky finger, and then I'm gonna burnish it in. You almost can't see this glitter. I really wanted it to be a subtle glitter that once it hits the light, it really sparkles, but at other times the nails just look like black nails. So I'm sealing this glitter in with another coat of my tacky top coat, and then I'm gonna cure that in my light for 30 seconds. You could also do this glitter step alongside the other nails. I just didn't want to mess around with getting any of the glitter onto my non-glitter nails because it is such a super fine glitter that it can be a bit of a pain to get off places where you don't want it. After I cured that first top coat, I'm going in with another coat of my No Wipe top coat to seal in the design, and then I am of course going to cure that for another 30 seconds. And here are the finished nails. You can kind of see that the glitter is super, super subtle unless you get it into certain lights. So I'm gonna change the lighting around a little bit to hopefully show off the glitter a bit more. When I turn on the phone flash, you can really see the sparkle. I think this would be a really great background for galaxy nails as well. On my non-dominant hand, you can see I kind of made the brush strokes a tiny bit smaller, which I think I actually prefer. These are really cute, super simple, very easy, very beginner friendly if you're just getting into nail art. Like I said, the lines don't need to be perfect and the glitter is just gorgeous, but then still subtle at the same time. It's like secret glitter and then the light hits it and it's just beautiful. Anyway, those are the finished nails. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think my next one will be my first set of press on nails. So make sure you subscribe for that one. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.